Welcome here, Tim the Blacksmith. Thanks for being here. Because I've got this hardness tester now, if you haven't seen the video on me getting that and going through it and testing it out first time, setting up, put the link up here, you can take a look at that video. Now that I've got that, I've been thinking about stuff that I can test and I am super curious to see how hard titanium is because I don't actually know. I also want to see if we can even harden it. Now this is not a scientific experiment. This is a dumb smug Canadian boy messing around in the backyard shop. So if you're expecting anything else than that, <laughs> don't continue watching. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get set up here and let's start rolling through these tests. So here I have two pieces of titanium. These were supplied to me by Sacken Metals for this video. If you want some titanium for your projects, make sure to check them out. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Today's special because not only do I have grade five, which is the only titanium I've actually worked, all the previous projects have been from grade five on my channel. I also have grade four titanium. So we're gonna do each experiment on each one to see if there's difference or what the difference is. So the first test to do is going to be cut a sliver off and we're gonna test the hardness on the grade four and the grade five in this state as I've received it. So I got my two piece of titanium here. If you're thinking, hey Tim, is there something wrong with your voice? Yeah guys, I'm pushing through something right now, but I want to get this video out. These two pieces of titanium, should they be ground perfectly flat, symmetrical and everything? Yes. Am I going to do that? No. Because that's way too hard for titanium. This stuff is mean. I think we'll get close enough results for what we're doing today without that. Okay, this is the grade four. Okay, preload's on, let's send it. All right, let's bring it back and see what this is. So this is grade four titanium. Oh guys, you're not gonna believe it, it's, it's nine. Super surprising. Crazy. How, how is that possible? So here it is, I got it. I got some really big variables, which is not good. A good section in the middle there, like this five, and then the 15 was on the same side, just a little bit over. So interesting, I'm, I'm not super happy with that. That's really big variables, but we're just gonna keep going. So that's 14.57 and average, extremely soft. Let's move into the grade five. So again, super interesting. This one was way more consistent, but the average, look how close they are, 14.57 and 14, which is absolutely 100% shocking. So that the next test we should do is I'm gonna take a piece of each grade, stick it in the forge, bring it up to temperature, and then let it cool off. So that'd be like a typical normal, normalization stage in steel, though this is not steel and then let's just see what that did to the titanium. Hey guys, I also just wanted to let you know that um, Martin's making more bottle openers right now, so those are gonna be available on my website right now. So if you've been thinking about buying one or been waiting, now's your chance. I'll, uh, I think it's only about uh, like 40 or so, so get after it. These actually aren't cool all the way yet, but you can tell that this is the grade four because it, it has more of that titanium look to it. It's closer to pure titanium than the grade five. That is so, uh, that is so cool. It's maybe not that great of a test because uh, it might make more sense to actually forge them for a bit and then try it. But nevertheless, we're here now, let's do it.
So look at that, hey, the average here is 19 and the average here is 19.2. When we started, it's the 14. So just to heating and normalized, it did make it a little bit harder, not very much. Super interesting. So next up, we're gonna take each grade, stick it in the forge, and then gonna water quench it and just see what happens. Here's the two pieces. I'm not going to grind the edge, though there could be some hardening on the edge. We don't know. But we're going to try it like this and see what it looks like. So first up again is going to be the grade four. Very interesting. This is 33, 28 and a half, and 33. I only did those three because it was really consistent. So the average is 31.5. So that is substantially harder. I might, if we have time, I wouldn't mind grinding off the scale because it could be just a bit of an edge. But let's do the, uh, the water on the grade five and compare that. And then we can decide what we want to do after that. So I did the three pings. The last one was pretty low. Average 27.8, so relatively close to here. So it is definitely harder. We don't know if it's just a thin edge or not, so we should probably look into that. I would also say, you know, these indifferences, like the 25 is quite a bit. I think it would be a lot better if I did a better prep job on these blocks. But for today, it's just scooting us through close enough. You know, this is noticeably harder than that. That's really what we're looking for today. What I've done is I've ground back through that oxidized, oxidized surface. And we're just going to see if that makes a difference. So very interesting. This is the average here, so it's just a little bit softer. And the same here, very little bit softer. So not a big difference. So I would say water quenching definitely makes it harder. Do I don't know if that damaged the part though, you know, like is there cracks or what? I don't know what's in there, but it definitely made it harder to the point that that's substantial difference. Interesting, hey? Okay, so we're on to our last test here. And apparently the way that you harden titanium, this is actually an aging process. You heat it up to 900 degrees Celsius and then hold it there for eight hours. And then I don't know if you take it out and quench it in water or you just let it cool down. Eight hours is a long time at 900 degrees Celsius. However, this morning I put two chunks in, actually four, been in there for just about three hours. So I thought, well, that'll give us a head start into it, but eight hours is a long time. Let's head over to the forge. Let's pull those out. I'm gonna pull one of the grade four and one of the grade five, just let it cool. And then I'm gonna grab grade four and grade five and quench them in the water and see if they're any different. So this is the grade four titanium. And look how crusty and thick that edge is. Really thick up here, even thicker on the sides though. It's really interesting. And then this is the grade five. So I'm gonna um, get rid of all of that and then we'll test these guys. Something's going on here on the surface. You see that sort of metallic crumbly look. That is across the whole entire surface. I don't know if that would be through the whole thing. So anyways, when I pushing in the hardness tester here, it's, it's getting a crunchy sound, unclean divot, and it's not giving a good read. So I probably need to grind that further back to see if it's actually hard. I'm gonna just see if the uh, grade five does the same thing 
and then maybe we'll give that a grind and see what happens. Same thing, yeah. So we're gonna try this uh, grade four again. That's saying 54 guys, which is drop dead crazy. So check it out. It actually does work. So this is the average 47.5 on the grade four. But this one, the first one was 32. And then I did all these other ones to double check and they all landed on 41. So this one, so this one is more consistent and grade five has been more consistent. So that's 39.2, so that is harder, which is super interesting. So now let's go see if those other ones have cooled off and how hard they are just from being three hours in the forge and then cooling in air. Okay, check it out, here's the concluding number. So this is the grade four, and that is at 43.3 average, and the grade five was 41.3. They're both pretty consistent like in their numbers, so I only pinged them three times. So that's super interesting. It's interesting that the one I quenched was at averaging at 47, that's the grade four, and it was 43 here, so it's a little bit harder, but the grade five shows a 39 average, and over here it's a 41, so it's harder. But I wouldn't say yay or nay to either of these because they're so close and it was so rudimentary. Age processing does work. It does create it hard, make it harder. This is what we're looking at about when we buy it. And water quenching does actually make it surprisingly harder. I don't know if that's harming the material though. And now I'm left with the big question. If I could actually heat it for eight hours, how much harder would it be? Yeah, I'm really curious. Eight hours, 900 degrees Celsius, will it get harder than that or not? Because that's actually starting to get in a better range that we could actually pull some pretty cool stuff off with that. Yeah, need a heat treat oven. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna conclude the video there. I hope you found that interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below or anything I obviously missed. Thanks for watching, super appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep the forge lit, hey? Over and out.